Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Dimma. Today's video, we're going to be talking about darker underarms, dark armpits. I know what that is. I know what it feels like. I know how it can make you very, very self-conscious. And in this video, I'm essentially just going to share with you guys everything that I have done or everything that I did to kind of even mine out a little more and just get to that point where I'm really no longer very conscious of raising my hands up or wearing things that are sleeveless. So this is what my armpits look like as of this morning. They've come a long way, guys. They used to be a lot darker. And when I say a lot darker, like they used to be very, very dark, much darker than they are now. And three years ago, I think I started like making conscious efforts into changing things up. This is not to say that it took three years for me to get here. I actually got to where my armpits look like right now really quickly, but I had to change some things and do some things as well. Before I start, I just want to say, and make it very clear that if you're a person of color and you have darker underarms, darker armpits, that is completely normal. We people of color, we just tend to produce more melanin in some areas than we do others. And a couple of things that we are doing could just be making it worse, I would say. So I've seen people, you know, talk about how they've been called dirty because some parts of their body are just like, you know, slightly darker or a lot darker than other parts. And guys, they're just like very ignorant people. Just know this and know peace. So in this video, I am going to share all that I have done or what I did to change things up for myself. When I was trying to change things up or when I was trying to figure out why my underarms are a lot darker, I started doing a lot of reading and watching videos and I started coming across a lot of information and I was like, okay, I'm going to try a lot of these things or these recommendations or just like pay very close attention to everything that they are saying here and try to apply them for myself and see if it changes things. And actually, boy oh boy, guys, did they change things for me. So the first culprit or one of the main reasons um, sometimes why you have underarms that are just a lot darker than the rest of your body is deodorant. I know that it's very frustrating. We're told to use deodorant and it's something that we use quite often this part of the world because it's quite hot and humid here in Nigeria. So we wear it a lot just because we're supposed to wear it. But then sometimes it can actually just be making things worse for us. These things contain chemicals and irritants that just different different forms of them that can actually just lead to hyperpigmentation in that area. So it was the first thing that I tried to cut out because the things that I read said to not use them, just stop using them completely actually or not use them as much as you do. So the first thing I did was to stop using regular store-bought deodorants, the spray ones that we use. I've never been a big fan of roll-on so the deodorants that I use are the spray ones. So the first thing that I did was to stop using that and switch to a natural deodorant. So I switched to using the Arm & Hammer deodorants which natural deodorizers and I used it for about two months and guys I did that same significant difference even before doing anything. At the time that I cut out my regular deodorant and started using the arm and hammer one guys i had not even started like waxing at the time because i normally shave but i had not started waxing so even without like moving to the second tip that i'll give in this video i started seeing significant difference if you're not familiar with the arm and hammer deodorant this is what it looks like it comes with different scents but this particular one is clean it has a very crisp clean scent i actually prefer the green one but when i went to get this particular one they did not have the green one the green one smells really nice i would say i'm not i can't remember what it smells like i just know that i prefer it to this one from experience and guys when i started using this mainly heavily things really changed for me i saw significant difference the only reason why i am not just using this alone now because i still use regular deodorant but i use this like about 90 percent of the time i use regular deodorants let's say when i'm wearing certain fabrics like chiffon or silk or when i'm going to be running or doing anything where there's going to be a lot of physical activity then i would use or just maybe that would lead to sweating i would say so let's say if you're going to the market or going anywhere where you know that you're going to sweat a little bit i use like regular deodorants other parts of the world you might not even have to do this but it is hot and humid here in nigeria so you're most likely going to sweat so i would use like regular deodorants when i'm going to do those things but guys as much as you can please use something that has natural deodorizers and stop using regular deodorants often because i saw significant difference once I cut the way that I use it, like cut it down the way that I use regular deodorant. The second thing that I'm going to highly recommend is to stop shaving. So like I had this very bad combination of using regular deodorant all the time and shaving. I did not use to wax and guys like the shaving just kind of makes things like 
worse i would say and outside of the fact that it just leads to darkness in that area it's the fact that with shaving you can even get ingrown hairs and when ingrown hairs are trying to go or when they lead to some sort of like i don't know like you guys if you know what ingrown hairs is you know that it can get infected and then they would have to clear but before they clear they lead to some sort of damage to where the hair came out from and then that will lead to hyperpigmentation guys as much as you can as early as you can start waxing i think i was so uh, it's going to be too painful for a very long time and i did not bother guys you actually get used to the pain it's not something to actually worry that much about and the more you do it the more you get used to it and then waxing one thing is also done is that the hair in that area it does not grow back as quickly as it normally would and even when it does grow back it's a lot finer it lot thinner i would highly recommend that you start waxing it is going to make things much better and i notice even like more difference when just the combination of this and waxing made so much difference so please does not have to be this one this is the only natural deodorant that i think is very easy to come by here in lagos in nigeria but if you're in a place where you have like a variety you know you have like more options i'd highly recommend that you consider like incorporating natural deodorant into your just beauty regimen and waxing guys waxing very important shaving on its own can cause irritation and then just the constant abrasion you get with these like the, the the shaving sticks you actually don't know sometimes that it's bad for you till you stop it and then you realize so the next thing that i'd highly recommend that you also do is to exfoliate get rid of the dead skin cells that you have in your underarm area you don't have to do this on a daily basis once a week is fine whenever you're in the shower just take your scrub work it into that place and rinse it off or clean it off with a damp washcloth just do that and you're going to be surprised the skin in that area feels a lot smoother if you feel that once a week is too much for you then once every two weeks is fine i just don't recommend with any type of exfoliating that anyone do it every day it's always too much for the skin so try as much as possible to exfoliate okay we talk a lot about exfoliating the face exfoliating the body but we never talk as much as we should about exfoliating the underarm area very very important so next thing that i'm going to highly recommend is to stop wearing very tight clothing if your work or whatever it is you do or just by choice you prefer to wear things that cling to your body so tightly all the time it can actually also lead to darkness in that area the skin needs to breathe if your underarm also needs air so if let's say you're not using good deodorant you're not exfoliating you're not waxing and then you're always wearing very tight clothing it could actually just make things worse for you so consider wearing things that are loose fitting especially if this is a problem that you obviously have try to not wear tight things as much as you do especially in this climate so the last two things first one could be that you could also have hyperpigmentation because of some underlying health issues which i feel like let's say that if you've tried everything that i've recommended in this video or tried a lot of treatments just maybe consider going to a doctor smokers melanosis could actually lead to very bad hyperpigmentation in that area diabetes there are underlying health issues that could make them look worse or just really really bad so if you think that you've tried a lot of things and it's really not working consider seeing a doctor some underlying health issues can just cause it and at least with a doctor's advice you can now do things that could most likely just help you so just fyi underlying health issues can cause like very bad darkness in that area so a recap um try to wax and not shave try to use natural deodorants as much as you can exfoliate 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 i think that these things are really really important that is the reason why my underarms look the way that they look now i've seen some hacks here on youtube people saying to mix a couple of things and you would get like lighter armpits in three days guys i actually tried that out for the sake of this video um, i'm going to insert clips of me actually doing the mixing and like trying that out and i always keep it 100 with you guys i did not see any significant result in three days um i'm not saying that these things don't work because i think that to a large extent they probably work from my own personal experience i don't think that they do anything for you in three days there is a very very popular recipe that is here on youtube like almost every video that i watched um used that recipe and that's what i use as well 
I wrote it down here. That recipe calls for three tablespoons of baking soda, which I did add, one tablespoon of turmeric, which I did add, quarter cup of whipping cream, heavy whipping cream or whipping cream, I did add that, two tablespoons of honey, I did use that, and one squeezed lemon. I use all of this. And then when you mix all of it, you get like a foamy, like mousse-like consistency. And I did this for three days. Because you end up with a lot with this particular mixture, you can use some of it and put it in the fridge as you use it over the course of three days. And I did not see any significant results. I've seen people talking about how it works instantly. Maybe for people who are on the darker just like end of skin tones. I've seen a lot of Indians use it and most likely probably works for them because a lot of them are not as dark as just like black people are. I also saw some black people use it. So I don't know if it's like a climate thing. Um, a lot of the people that I watch their videos, they're not based here. So I don't know, but I'm just telling you guys because a lot of these things, if I recommend, I always try, okay? I think that maybe if I continue for more than that, maybe for five days or something, I could see results, but I didn't see results in three days. And I want you guys to know this, FYI. So if you have tried that hack, that popular hack here on YouTube and you did not see any significant results in three days, it's not just you, it's not a you problem. I did it as well, it did not work for me. But I think that maybe with a combination of everything that I've recommended here, plus doing that for maybe about two weeks, because I saw some people in the comment section of some of these videos actually saying that it took them about two weeks or about a week to actually get results. And the reason why I bothered trying this particular hack is because, you know, it's all natural, natural, natural. People kept on stressing that. I was like, okay, let me try that and see. But I didn't see any significant results. I've seen people using a popular soap called Kojik San, I think. And people also say that they got results with that quickly. I'm just sharing with you guys things that I saw from research. But I know that for me, the things that I have just recommended, tried and tested, you should see significant results in about a month to three depending just switch things up use the things that i recommended natural deodorants exfoliating and waxing just try this combo first and just see how it goes for you so i hope that you guys found this helpful give it a thumbs up if you like to share it with anybody who you think will find it helpful subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed i'll see you guys in my next one